Thank you, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I thank the Honourable Member for asking the question. Madam Deputy Speaker, it is my pleasure to update Parliament on the Memorandum of Understanding that my Ministry signed on 9th August 2024 with the International Organization for Migration, or IOM. Madam Deputy Speaker, the coalition government is committed to reviewing and modernizing critical national legislations and policies related to employment, including labor mobility. This reviews, these reviews include the Employment Relations Act, our OHS regulations, and the National Employment Policy 2018. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, in, in the context of these high-level policy processes, labor mobility is unique in the sense that it requires specific technical attention. As such, it is proposed to leverage the existing processes to develop a national labor mobility policy which would complement the national employment policy and other employment policies. The proposed policy would outline the key priorities approaches for the governance of labor mobility, both incoming and outgoing. The policy is to ensure that Fiji has a well-managed labor mobility governance framework that forces the socioeconomic benefits of migration for individuals and communities and aligns with the international standards and best practices. Madam Deputy Speaker, the signing of this memorandum of understanding between our ministry and IOM is a testament of our commitment to collaborative efforts in addressing labor mobility challenges and turning them into opportunities. It will enable us to benefit from technical assistance provided by the IOM towards the protection of migrant worker rights, conduct researches, and build capacity on gathering labor migration data. Madam Deputy <coughs> Speaker, with funding from the Migration Partnership Trust Fund, IOM is already collaborating closely with the Ministry on the project, Labor Mobility for Sustainable Development and Climate Resilience in the Pacific. This initiative is being carried out in collaboration with the International Labor Organization. Madam Deputy Speaker, IOM will help Fiji build its national labor mobility policy and strategy as part of this project. I wish to thank the IOM for their assistance and dedication towards the Fiji government in sharing their experiences and resources to improve Fiji's labor mobility programs and efforts. Madam Deputy Speaker, this collaborative approach to have an MOU was also discussed uh, during our stakeholders meeting and these stakeholders are Ministry of Education, Ministry of Finance, Office of the Prime Minister and Office of the Solicitor General. During the consultation process for, for cabinet endorsement to develop the Fiji National Labor Mobility Policy Framework and Strategy for Sustainable Development and Climate Resilience. I thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Minister. We now have a follow-up question from...